So right now I am in Napa getting ready to try the Napa Valley wine train experience. So it seems really cool. I've never done anything like this. So um, we'll take you guys along the journey with me. All right, so I'm in downtown Napa right now and there's like a map. So I'm going to go on the wine train station. I think that's where I'm heading at. I'm not really sure. We parked nearby. We're just gonna walk around downtown, but I guess we can just walk to the station and board the train from here. Um, so yeah, very excited. So this is the Napa River right here. Very beautiful scenery. All right, so we have arrived at the Napa Valley Wine Train Station. There's the train over there. We're like half an hour early, so um, but you can hear it running right now. Um, just here to take some pictures first. So currently in the waiting area, um, have like half an hour before the train departs or I'm supposed to like board it. Um, yeah, the waiting room, the waiting area is pretty cute. It's like this like vintage room. They've got like a gift shop and everything is like old fashioned, you know. Um, so super cute. Let me show you around. So you come in from there and then they have got this little, I don't know, brochure area, photos area and then this is the receptions desk and then look at these cute sofas that you stay on to wait for your train and there's like a bathroom and then a, it's like a full-on gift shop over there with lots of wine to look into. Yeah, I know. Very cool. Have the train all to ourselves, but they said to go to the next car, so... Oh, that's weird. I thought we'd be in this car. Okay, next train. Right. So, this is our seating. We've got lots of alcohol in front of us and then just how it works. So after everyone boarded and the train had left the station, we were each given a cheese plate. So it contained a variety of fruits, grapes, strawberries, blueberries, as well as crackers, salami, and cheeses. Um, they were supposed to pair with the sparkling champagne or you can also order individual drinks um, which I did not get um, so yeah it was very nice small bite to have um, before lunch all right just kidding I ended up getting a glass of Pinot Noir to enjoy throughout the ride so first impressions from this train ride it's definitely a beautiful train it's vintage chairs are super comfy views it's all right you get to see all the different vineyards in the area and um, it's just it's a very relaxing train ride so how the train ride works is that it goes from napa to saint helena and then back and so there's two types of tickets the late admission or the late ticket and the early ticket and so i opted for the late one because it's a little cheaper and what that just means is that for the first half of the ride you enjoy some small bites and drinks and then afterwards once you get to St. Helena, you get to ride in a different car and enjoy lunch there. You can also go out of the train while it's still moving and take some nice pictures there. Time for a bathroom tour. So surprisingly, the bathroom was pretty big. Um, there's like a stall, it's just one stall, toilet, sink, all the basic needs. Very clean as well. Um, it wasn't too shaky, so you could definitely do your business there. Um, soap available for you, just make sure you close the lid when you flush so the water doesn't come out. Super nice.
so once we got to St. Helena, we were moved to a different car where, you know, there's tables now and it's just time for lunch. And to access the menu, you just have to scan a QR code, super simple, and then the uh, servers will come by to take your order. First off, we had some bread, fresh bread with unsalted butter. So good. Unsalted butter is definitely the best. And we're moving again. For the side, I ended up getting the Sonoma mixed green salad. It's got lots of fresh veggies, some pistachios, I think Greek yogurt as well. Super refreshing, um, light, and pretty good. Onto the mains, you can choose from a variety of like beef tenderloin. Um, I think there was salmon or fish of the day. Um, I think there was also like pasta, but I opted for the beef tenderloin and definitely made the right choice. It's got mushrooms, crispy onions, of course, beef tenderloin, broccolini, and some mashed I mashed potatoes, I think, in the bottom. Um, it was super good. The beef was so tender, like so good. I can't believe they made it on the train. <laughs> Finally, we have desserts, so I opted for the creme brulee. Um, overall, it's pretty good. It's not the best I've had, but um, pretty good to finish off the meal. They also have chocolate cake, which my dad ended up getting. It was not too bad. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. It was an overall pretty good experience very relaxing and I had a lot of fun trying different foods and enjoying the scenery.